why did you decide to come to a company like Moving Brands? Obviously, you're, you've got your bit biased. Yeah, you're biased. But yeah. why would you come to a company like Moving Brands? How does it help a startup? Yeah, it's been huge. Um, once made fire. I mean, even when it's raising its money, it's all about a story in itself. So, like, you're trying to tell a story about the business. You're trying to tell a vision for the business, and. I'm lucky I'm used to doing that because that's what the craft of Moving Brands is, helping to articulate a vision and a, and a story. Okay, so you can kind of, you can have a brilliant technology, a great idea, a great team, but there's a lot of people doing that, especially in Silicon yeah. Valley. Yeah. And then there's a, there's a value to be had from packaging that up and making it a clear story for the people who are going to finance these Absolutely, yeah. yeah. They're, they're experts in funding businesses, but they're not an expert in the business that you want funded. So you have to be able to really tell that story clearly, paint a big picture, mm -hmm. uh, because they're, they're betting on vision. If you were meeting a, an entrepreneur with a great idea today, and they were saying, this is what I'm planning to do, um, I've got some. I've got some money already. Uh, I think at some point I'll need to do design or branding. What would your advice to them be? It's a really common situation where they haven't got a. They haven't planned to spend on that, but they desperately need it. Um, it was. I, I. I boil it. Sorry, I boil it right back now to what's the story, and if they can't articulate it clearly then they need to get our help, <laughs> moving brands help yeah. immediately, not in six months, 12 months, 18 months, because they're just going to lose track. They're just going to lose sight of, of what they, they stand for. I was at an event recently and it was people representing big businesses, quite senior executives and founders of startups. And what I, what I found was exactly the thing you're saying is that the guys from the big businesses were able to say, Hi, I'm John from Company X, which you've heard of. And they don't really have to explain the story yeah. because the brand name is strong already. All the guys who are founders or, or entrepreneurs, they told you a story yeah. in a minute. And the ones that you engaged with the best were the ones who could explain well mm. what they're doing, why it's cool, why it's different, why you should pay some attention to it, mm. even if it was quite oblique and hard to understand. Yeah. And so it's, uh, I can see how that, in a, in a context where so many people are doing that, the quality of your story yeah. is going to make a fundamental difference. Yeah, and as you said, in, in Silicon Valley, there's a lot of engineers who are funded, a lot of technical ideas, disruptive, amazing things, but the, and they have a vision, but they can't, they can't, exp they can't explain it. I'm looking over your shoulder at Ness, yeah. which is one of the moving brands. Yeah. Fantastic case study. Amazing entrepreneur, Corey Reese. Took him two and a half hours, he took me through his investment pitch to explain what he did, which was amazing, but you don't have two and a half hours. You know, you have like two and a half minutes. Maybe. Two and a half minutes. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, my whole career has been in helping people navigate that, and it's amazing the clutter and confusion that I go through every day when I'm at Madefire, I'm, and I'm trying to centre myself on what's the, what's the right decision even with with my background which is pretty much only been about trying to find the central essence and story when you're in the thick of it it's extremely hard and i, I literally pulled open a deck the other day from moving brands uh, thinking oh, you know this is all the answers are in the deck like really literally all the answers and more that we haven't even tackled yet are in the deck it's remark it was remarkable and i kind of had to laugh at myself because i've probably only opened that deck a handful of times that's the, one of the challenges, I think, is keeping them, keeping the founder entrepreneur centered on the story and using it as a business filter rather than them thinking, well, that's brand and that's, that's communication, which it isn't. As a business man, as someone who's running a startup, what do you really think would be great advice to give to people who are looking at engaging with a creative partner? What should they be looking for? What's a good one versus a bad one, basically? Well, you know, I, I, think, I think we've always centered on story. I think you should be looking for someone who understands the vision and mission and can help you hone that and shape that story. And then, yes, make it into a visual communication or a website or, you know, there's a system off the back of that story. But I think the most important thing is that people get the vision. Like, you need a creative partner who gets the vision. And then, ideally, under that, 
you probably have a creative partner who takes some risk with you. Moving Brands takes digital as a given. Most creative partners don't have a clue about delivering across digital. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, as an entrepreneur looking for a creative agency, you, you rule out loads of them because it's like, well, they're good at print or they're good at something, something. I think having a multidisciplinary place that's centered on story and vision is, is gotta be, gotta be the most important thing.